I may have stopped a little too early there. Shout out Chase, never said before. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and you're good to go. Today is an awesome one because we're looking at a brand new band on the channel. Well, at least new for me. They are a Finnish metal band called Sonata Arctica and they come courtesy of Coolty from our Discord server. Um, Discord's an awesome place because lots of great people love hanging out with you guys, chatting, playing games, listening to music. And also it's got a video suggestion box there. Um, Tank the Tech and I share that server. So if you like, you can hop in there put your requests and suggestions in a bot that one of our other Discord alumni, Aethan, built, pulls it all into a spreadsheet and it makes it really, really easy for Tank the Tech and I. Now, you don't have to just do it through Discord. I do take reaction requests in the comments, Twitter, pretty much everywhere, but it does make our life easier. So I encourage you to go there and give it a shot. And um, it's a lot of fun as well. Nice place to hang out. Now back to today's reaction. I know nothing else about this band other than the fact that they are Finnish power metal. And this song I think came out in 2009. So super excited to see what they're about. Sonata Arctica, Wolf and Raven. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Okay, so that's intense. Um, we'll go back just a little bit. I tried to pause at the end of a phrase in there because I suspect that it's going to transfer into something else. Now, forget the fact that it just drop kicks you in the in the chest with um, intensity. There's a, quite a few cool things going on there. It would be hard not to talk about the speed of those runs on the lead work. Um, remarkable and consistent. Again, studio recording, but these guys are not going to do something on a recording that they can't do live, especially not something so prominent. And um, it is intense. It's an awesome run. It's got a really nice scale effect to it because a lot of solos are built off the back of scales, which keeps things in tune. And um, when, you're, when, you're, when you're starting out and practicing, you learn how to kind of drift between those scales. This is a really nice run. And it goes up and it goes down. There's a nice cyclic effect to it. And then all of a sudden it runs up and it transfers into like an almost key change of that. Same principle, same structure just a higher version. Very cool. The drums are doing a killer job of just providing an extra level of intensity and aggression because the double kick is insane. And um, I like the placement of the snare. It's quite simple. It's almost on that 4-4. However, uh, it's, it's constant droning effects of it being bashed in the same place almost underplays in a positive way the intensity of the kick, it creates like a rhythm that you can latch onto, almost forget about what's happening and then focus on the hero piece, which is the lead. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, um, when you transfer into a lead, particularly within any kind of speed metal, power metal, anything with a lot of like like a high BPM, something that's really intense, um, what you want to do is create a gap for the vocals, especially when you have power metal vocals that are really powerful and um, great to listen to. And I like his voice. I think it's cool. There's a lot of anger and edge to it, but you can also hear that really nice, almost drive in some of the clean bits that he's doing. It's very cool. And uh, what they did was they just took the lead work away. They kept the intensity with palm muting. No, we're not going to talk about palm muting again. Shout out palm mute gang. And um, just kept that constant rhythm. So you kept the intensity of the song, but you didn't uh, have an overpowering of the melody. Almost opens a gap up in the middle for the vocals to come through. It's very cool. Now, the song, Killing. The music video so far? may have fallen victim to the 2009s. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> like his voice. 
I may have stopped a little too early there. Shout out Chase, never said before. But um, it's it may be that they're going back into the verse. And what I just heard there sounded like a pre-chorus. And when I, when I say things like a pre-chorus, it's normally because I feel it building. And I'm waiting for it to break into something more um, consistently melodic. And that was cool because, again, intensity has not stopped. And you've now got lead work in the background. When I say background, it, partly because of the volume. And partly because of any kind of spatial effects to push it further back in the mix and uh, a little bit away from you. So if you imagine all that music sitting in front, vocals just in front of that, and then the lead piece right at the back, you'll have a better chance of kind of latching onto it and hearing it. And it's actually mimicking some of the vocal melody. It's very cool. I wonder if they are going to go back into that verse, which I think I just started to hear, and then go into a chorus later. It's a four-minute song, so anything can happen. <laughs> Whoa. Easy, buddy, easy. Things are happening. 20, plenty. Um, those vocals threw me off. Not mad, though. Not mad, though. Like a bit of var variety in songs like this. Um, You'll hear towards the end of the phrasing, when they do that, they palm into the verse at the end, you hear, no, 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 no. It's just a way to break up monotony. So if you're going to do something for too long, particularly at that speed, it becomes quite samey. And also you fall, you can fall victim into getting into this trance-like, um, as a listener, getting into this like trance-like mode where you forget where the loop is, you forget where the phrasing starts. And that's not good. And the reason I say it's not good is if you don't break it up like they did there and so brilliantly, um, when they do go into something else, if you've lost your way with that rhythm, it feels quite jarring. And um, some people do that as an effect, but it wouldn't have, it doesn't always work. Uh, I'm really glad they're doing what they do. I shouldn't be shocked. Everything you guys tell me to listen to is great. Just about. Okay, a um, <clears throat> couple things. So uh, we were right about that. So they did, it was a pre-chorus and the pre-chorus went back into the verse. So it was a teaser and then um, they did it again and then they went into this chorus and the chorus was fantastic. Sometimes when the vocals are so intense and out there, it's hard to imagine where they're going to go next. It's hard to imagine another level, but here we are. And uh, I would say masterfully done. I like the melody of that. There's something happening there at the end this bit of lead work doesn't sound like a guitar. Need to hear that again. Okay, at the expense of boring you to death by playing the same piece a bunch of times, have a listen to just before I pause. Just if you keep an eye on the time code, if I go back. That's 13 seconds. So uh, 113. So if you keep an, an ear open for around 120, um, you're going to hear something that is a nice lead effect. It is it is very soft. Its job is to provide like a background melody or back background um, filler piece, but it, it isn't a guitar. Don't think it is. Um, it sounds like keys, but it doesn't sound quite like keys. Might just have an effect on it, but um, it's quite cool, and it's almost like an Easter egg. It's hidden away, and it's there if you want to hear it, but you know, it's okay if you don't, because you're still going to get the effects of what it does uh, to add value to the song. That is exactly why I love power metal. Um, build up, 
drop off a step, build up. And it's this, um, it gives this mental picture that it keeps climbing, but there is a retreat and the retreat on the last phrasing just before he goes into the chorus is exactly why his voice is special and why his understanding of it works so well. There is a drop back low enough to make sure that the higher part of the vocal that he hits is higher than the previous phrasing. It's cool. Come on. Hang on, hang on just a hot minute. Okay, so the lead, they're, they're, they're leading into that solo uh, piece was jarring and, um, and deliberate and I'm um, for it. It's been so intense and so full and so kind of just action packed that, that breaking that to kind of drop the intensity and the BPM was really cool. I liked it a lot. And then straight back into the quick work again. Now, um, I don't know if I'm losing my mind or if I heard something else. The answer is probably a bit of both, but there is something else happening with that lead guitar. And initially it sounded like keys, but now it sounds a bit more like an organ, but I don't see an organ. So either you have keys with just a, just a standard keyboard with a synth on, um, a particular effect, there's an organ, or there's like a harpsichord thing, or there is another instrument that I probably don't know of yet so that's just doing some awesome stuff in the background but something is mimicking there and I am very much for it because it's adding it added so much value to the beginning prior part of the song that I didn't actually recognize and now there was an opportunity to hear it stand out you could hear more of the clang in the high end I'll go back one more to hear that but uh, that that was cool that was a nice surprise I don't know what it is tell me if you know what it is in the comments I'm gonna guess it's just a key just a standard key piece with a with an effect on but um very cool Hey man, a little privacy.
hey man, listen. It's just another one of those bands where I'm like, how have I not heard this? I big fan of power metal. Um, I really like that. Uh, shout out that video for being the 2009 version of Phasmophobia. But also, sounds like there's an alarm going off. It's not me. We're safe. We're okay. We shall continue. Um, I really enjoyed that. That was that was a like a bit of a blast from the past, but also very fresh to me because I hadn't heard them before. I just thought it was cool. It was there was a lot about it that is a traditional power metal kind of vibe that um, they just did it really well. And then there were nice standout pieces. I like the speed of the lead work. I like the uh, vocals. I like that key piece, whatever that is. I mean, it looked like he's sitting at a standard piano there. So I'm a little confused by it. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. Um, but I like it. it. It had that organ-esque vibe to it. It was something new and fresh. And I just think it was special. I think why I haven't heard of them, I cannot tell you. But I can tell you, I will be hearing more. Now, shout out Cool T for asking me to do this one because it is a whole vibe. And I can't wait to do more. So until then, please be safe, be nice to each other and have a damn good day.